Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal and Filing Large Documents. When you're in the portal, we're going to go to our My Cases page. We're going to limit our search to our Orange County cases, and we're going to select the case that we're going to file to by choosing the File Now button. If you have not filed to this case before, you can always access any case for the first time by going to the e-filing map, select the county, existing case, and file now. That will take you to the same place that we will eventually land by using the My Cases page. Once you file electronically to a case, it's added to your My Cases page, and you can select the File Now button to get to the case information page completely filled in. It drops you to the bottom of this page so that you can mark this as an emergency filing if it is, or you can add, or add in a matter number. The matter number would be simply something that is assigned in your firm to a particular case. That way you can keep track of submissions made based on that case if you enter that matter number in each of your submissions. This information is not sent to the county. This is strictly for you, the filer, to use as it benefits your office. Then you click on Next, choose the party that we are filing on behalf of, and click on Next. Now we are at the Documents page. We are going to attach a document that is greater than 25 megabytes in file size. To do so, you would have to break your document down into separate files. You could break it down into two different files, and then you would have to submit that in two different submissions. And what that means is, you would go to your Add button. I'm going to use our new search feature and type in part of the name of the document I'm filing. Choose that document. Type in the total number of pages of this document and upload the file. When I browse out, I want to look for the name of my document, select that document, check the document, make sure it is the document that I wish to file. You'll note the page number count here, and then I click on Open. When I select Save, it will add this document to the submission. When that file size appears, that's when I will know that this document has completely uploaded to the submission and I can go on and add another document. There is the file size. It's 21 megs in size. What that means is I can only add four more megs of documents to this submission before I go over the 25 meg limit. So if this document is greater than that 25 megs, I would submit this portion of it by completing the confidentiality designation, choosing my parties to serve, no fees to file, and submitting my document. Here is our case. And now to get the rest of that document submitted, I would go back to My Cases. I'll do a search by a party name. It brings up that case. Click on File Now. Say OK. Again, it will pull in that case information for me go to the party screen. I was filing on behalf of the defendant. 
back to my Documents tab. I would browse out. I'll type in that search, pull up that document, and type in the rest of the pages or the second volume of that document that I will be filing. Pull up the document, make sure that it is the document I wish to file, that it is all of the pages that I need to get filed, the signatures are there, and then add it to your submission. So we have this performance summary in two submissions for a total of 30 megs in file size. But since we have the 25 meg limit, I needed to break it down into two submissions. So now you continue by making your confidentiality designation, your service choice, no fees, and you can submit your filing. So that is one way to get a large document, a document that is greater than 25 megs, into the court system. Here are our two submissions, Volume 1 and Volume 2 of that document going to the county. Now service of that large document will be provided it will be provided in accordance with Rule 2.516, which means that the document attached to that email that provides service can be no larger than 5 megabytes in file size. So if I jump over to my Gmail account, you will see in my Gmail account that service was provided in two parts of that large 21 megabyte file size document. The portal will take and break the document down into smaller file sizes in order to comply with Rule 2.519. And you will see that the document at the bottom is attached. That is part one. Here is part two which provides the second part of that to my email provider and the document is right there. It tells you the number of pages and that file size. So this is page 1 through 1462 of that 2460 page document. And again if we go back we'll go into part number 1 and at the bottom you will see that this is page 1 to 1462. So it does break the document down into those 5 megabyte file sizes for you. So if you were to serve that document in accordance with the rule outside of the portal, it would be your responsibility to break those documents down into 5 megabyte file sizes and then send them out in several emails to provide service. If you file through the portal, the portal will break those large documents down into the 5 megabyte file size to provide service in accordance with Rule 2.5196. So here is our My Filings page. We'll do a refresh. You will see here that service has been provided of both of those submissions which is the total of that one document that was larger than 25 megabytes in file size that was sent to the county. Another option that you have the opportunity to use is to save that large document to a CD and take it to the county for filing. Some counties will accept the documents that way Others will not, so be sure to check your News and Information section on the portal for the county that you are filing to to make sure or see the way they wish to receive those documents that are greater than 25 megabytes in file size.